Good afternoon. My name is Paul Jelly, a fellow of Bacanon. We are here at the office of our beloved mayor, Mayor Giovanni Pasco. Uh, we'd like to tell you that uh, our mayor is going to give you the highlights of our present project here in Maribo. I'm giving now you the mayor. Uh, good afternoon. My fellow Maribo Canos. Inside our country, likewise in the Americas and in the US and in Europe. Now, the situation right now prevailing upon in our town is that we do have a brass band where the members are getting old. In fact, they do have a hard time uh, making music with their instruments because of their, of their age and likewise some of them are affected with different uh, elements. Secondly, it is a situation where there are a lot of children and some of these children are, 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 are tempted more of some antisocial activities. And for this reason, the LGU Maribo has decided to come up with a program that would respond to the situation. That is teaching of music which later would lead to teaching of playing the instruments. So this program is a way of recruiting young children in our public schools age 7 up to 10. Where right now with their parents in support uh, they, they come here every weekends, Saturdays and Sundays, where they are taught to read notes, to uh, appreciate music, and later, when they finish the methodology of music, they will be taught how to play different instruments, depending on what instruments they would want to play. Now, with this kind of program for our children, it is really beneficial to the town because later, in maybe in a year or two, we will have a brass band made up of young children who will now take over what the old people now are doing in our town. Second, the good thing for this program is for these children, once the know how to play instrument. They can use this knowledge as scholars in different universities in our province and even in Cebu and Manila. In exchange for playing in the band of the university, they get a scholarship in, in any course they would want to pursue. And thirdly, these are children who are vulnerable to temptations. So the good thing here is that these children are given options in their life given uh, positive options instead of indulging in anti-social activities they can now engage in some uh, beneficial uh, activities so right now these children with the consent of the parents and the recommendations of the principals of our town they come here every saturdays and sundays morning and afternoon they come here under the baton, under the leadership of our executive director, Paul Gillick, uh, our townmate, who is not only knowledgeable, but has the heart, the passion to teach our young people. It is a commitment to the young children of our town. Now, this program is under the municipality of Maripo, the LGU Maripo, but directly under the METCA, the municipal Eco-Tourism Heritage Council of our town. So it is under Mary Ann Habines. So with this program, there is really a cost. And we are offering the people outside the town of Maribo to be partners of this program, particularly our, our relatives, our friends, our townmates in America, that we, we manage and we run this program with people helping us out, like Mary Ann, Mr. Healy, but however, we would like to solicit your support for this program. It is not intended for me, but this is intended for 
our town, for the good of our town, and for the good of our children, for the good of the people of Maribu. So we are proposing that the people outside of Maribu will uh, help us out by raising funds to help us give salaries to the people who are really directly handling this program. Second, that from the money that we should receive from outside, we will take care of the food of the of the children, the snacks that they would they would be getting uh, from time to time. And of course, as I've said, we have to give what's due to our teacher, to the professors, to the uh, to the uh, to the ones who are in charge in handling this program with their with their, with their allowances. And on our end, we will be the ones to implement. We will be responsible over this program and lead this program to a successful conclusion. When we say successful conclusion, children will be taught the notes, the music. They will be taught <coughs> how to play the instrument and later on the Maribo Children's Band to take over what these old people need to play uh, are doing now. And of course, for the benefit of children, this would lead them to scholarship in the universities in exchange for what they learn and play the instrument within the band of the universities. So they can finish their courses free in exchange for their time playing in the band of the universities. So my friends, this is all that I can say, I can offer. Let me greet all of you in the annual fiesta of St. Vincent Ferrer that you be given a safe, peaceful life outside our town. Thank you and congratulations. So people of Maribo, at least you have heard what the mayor says about the project and we look forward uh, in the future that you give us your full support and assistance. Thank you and good afternoon.